All right, so today I want to talk to you guys about purchasing land and the things you need to do to protect yourself when you do it. I'm out here today. We're out here on a lot that we've got cleared now. <clears throat> it's going to be a house being built here, and a lot of you are buying land with that intent. So we need to go over some of the things you need to watch out for and how you need to make sure your offer is written so that you protect yourself when you're going into these deals. Number one, when you locate a piece of land, you're thinking about purchasing it, you want to think about what are your intentions for that land. If your intentions, like most people, are to eventually build on it. There are some major, major components you want to do your research on prior to making an offer. The number one thing you want to check on first is going to be the zoning of the piece of property itself. You want to call the jurisdiction, the county, the city, whatever you're dealing with in that area. Make sure, A, that you can build on it, that it's zoned appropriately for you to build a single family dwelling on it. Second of all, you might want to look into what the setback requirements are for that piece of property because maybe you have in your mind where the house is going to go, but with the setback requirements, it may not be very feasible to work that out. So you want to do that research kind of upfront is what I like to do real quick. That's an easy thing. Second, we're going to look at probably the biggest number one thing you need to be looking out for, especially if you're more out in rural areas where there's no public utilities. You're going to want to make sure you have a contingent upon a perk test. So a perk test or a percolation test is where they come out and they test the soil for A, shrink swell soil. Probably the most important thing in all of this is what kind of septic system, if any, can you get on the property? Now you want to be very specific on how you word that in the contract because just basing it off solely, if it'll perk, there's a lot of variability there in price. If you just put in that you want it contingent upon it perking, there are many different levels of septic systems. You can go from a gravity fed conventional, which is the cheapest obviously, all the way up to a $30,000 alternative system. Naturally, a $30,000 alternative system is going to put a huge dent in your budget for the house you want to build. So when it comes to that septic system when you're writing an offer, we like to do a very cautious approach when writing an offer to any piece of land that you're going to be building on when it comes to the septic system. I'll always put a contingency in there that allows you to have a lot more freedom. Because naturally, if that more expensive system is just not gonna work for your budget, you don't wanna be handcuffed to the property otherwise. So you're gonna wanna make sure your verbiage in the contract allows you to have the choice if it doesn't meet that bottom of the barrel price for a conventional system. You can then make the decision on whether you wanna proceed for, because maybe it is a perfect piece of land and you're just willing to pay the extra money for the septic. So you want to be very, very specific in that regard and how you word it in the contract. The next thing I would tell you to think about would be clearing and driveway estimates. Now, if you're working with a builder, he's gonna be able to help you out in this regard and give you some good estimations on that. But I think people truly underestimate how much it costs to have a driveway put into a property, especially as you can see like this property. I don't know if you can see behind me there, but it's got quite a lengthy driveway. So that's gotta play a huge role in your overall budget. You wanna keep that in mind when you're making your offer. So obviously not everybody is buying with the intent of they're going to build on it. Maybe you just want the piece of land because you want the privacy. You don't want somebody to build around you. That's pretty straightforward. As long as you like the land, proceed with purchasing as long as you think the value is there. So that's just some things to think about when you're looking at land. Obviously I'm not gonna dive into price. That's very subjective location to location. I mean, everywhere is different in that regard. Also with the size of the tracts of land, it is totally different. All right guys, I hope this was just a little bit helpful for you next time you're thinking about land. Uh, if you do have any questions, just hit me up. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Catch you later, bye.